There's no doubt everything seems to cost more as inflation continues to rise. And as it turns out, families are already planning for higher costs at the cash registers when it comes to buying those school supplies. According to the National Retail Federation, one out of every three people they surveyed said they're cutting back in other areas to cover the cost of items for the upcoming school year. So here are some things to think about before you make the big purchases. Before you even leave for the store, Take inventory of what office and school supplies you may already have at home. Maybe there are some things left over from last year that can be used again. Also, consider spreading out your purchases. Instead of doing it all at once, financial experts say this can allow you to find better deals at different locations and stumble upon sales you didn't plan for. Also, try comparing prices using apps like Shop Savvy. Once you have the price comparison, you can ask stores if they are willing to match that price. And finally, let retailers know you're a student or an educator. Sometimes you can unlock discounts by providing a student ID or proof that you're a teacher. And there are many major retailers who will offer those discounts to students and teachers both in store and online. So it's definitely worth asking about. Remember, if you're realizing the cost of school supplies is breaking the bank for your family, you should check with your school district and local charities to see who might be able to help. If you are able to donate school supplies right now, you can find drop off location information on our website, koaa.com. I'm Patrick Nelson for News 4.